Welcome back to American Truck Simulator. Today we will be hauling a wheel loader from San Diego to Barstow, California. We will be using our brand new Mac Anthem. This is a day cab configuration, pretty much a base model with very few options. On the interior, I did get an interior package, but other than that, it does not have all of the latest technology. We will have to use our iPad in the screen for our GPS, and this is a simple automatic, so that's going to be pretty cool. We don't have to shift through the gears. The load today weighs in at 34,000 pounds, and we are being paid at just over $18,000. It's going to be a pretty big paycheck here for us. Let's get the parking brake turned off here, and I just got the iPad all set up, and I'm very excited for the Mac Anthem. A lot of you guys uh, have uh, been requesting me to do a video here with it, so I thought what better to do uh, than to haul a wheel loader. We'll be picking it up here in town, and then we'll be heading on out. Now when I was specking out this truck with the factory, there was a, an option for this green color and I said why don't we do it, I don't usually use uh, semi trucks that are green so I thought this would just be a pretty unique thing. If you guys want to see more ATS videos here on the channel, please leave a like and let me know down below. I really do enjoy this series so far and it's getting better and better. Uh, more and more uh, truck mods are coming out and it's just being even more realistic. Now this more than likely will be a pretty long light here for us. We might get it and we might get it on the next one here, but I kind of like the realistic lights that definitely adds uh, to the game just made it through that long light there that was a pretty long wait but with the power of editing it does uh, kind of get sped up quite a bit here and look at that so there's some other equipment here as well which is pretty neat and I can't wait to see how uh, the Anthem does hauling a wheel loader and I think I see it right there wow that is a pretty big one Here it is, the wheel loader, 34,000 pounds, $18,450, and they want it by just about the end of the day. Oh yeah, there it is, let's get backed up to it, and let's head on out. Going to be a little bit of a longer drive here for us, but I'm always up for these longer ones. Uh, they seem to be paying really well. Oh, this Mac Anthem looks pretty cool. We actually do have a Mac Anthem in uh, FS19, which is awesome. And I definitely want to uh, use this more. It's a very unique truck, uh, pretty much as modern as it can be. And it does look uh, pretty awesome. Right there seems to be good. Perfect. And we're good to head on out. So just over four in a half hours. That's going to be a pretty long one, but that's kind of the usual. Uh, they're usually between three to four hours, so just a little bit more. We're clear, clear. Let's head on out. Now I once again been using the G29 steering wheel with the pedals and the shifter. Today I did switch it to the simple automatic mode, but the steering wheel really helps out and just makes it as realistic as we can. This light here is a pretty long light. And it looks like we're getting right on the freeway here. I actually really do like uh, getting on the freeways as quick as we can. It's just a lot easier than going through the uh, town in the uh, city uh, traffics here. There's just so much traffic, especially at, uh, just around 5 p.m. here. So we'll just have to be careful. But let's see. Looks like we're good to go. Yep, we're good to go for merging. Perfect. Now what I have noticed here with the Mac Anthem is you really have to kind of turn your head uh, quite a lot to see uh, both the mirrors. Since we're on the freeway now, I think that we could probably just turn the uh, GPS off for now and uh, just put it down. Let's get some cinematic shots. That's one pretty big, uh, kind of mid to uh, kind of bigger size wheel loaders as well. So that's kind of uh, nice that we get to haul one. I hope everyone's having a great day so far. Let me know how it is down below. My day has been a bit busy here with schoolwork, but it's always nice uh, to be back here recording, especially ATS. I really do enjoy this game, and I do plan to feature it quite a lot more as well. And it looks like we are just passing through Carlsbad. 
Now we are doing it just the in-state haul here. I kind of like these, but very soon, I think within the next two or three weeks, we will be getting the Going East mod, and we'll definitely do some uh, trips from Florida to New York. All those uh, cool states out east uh, would be a lot of fun to haul to. Now this Mac Anthem so far has been great, it definitely has a lot of power and I'm just really excited to be able to get this here. We did have a few mods, uh, but definitely having them built into the game is even better. Going a little bit above the uh, speed limit, it looks like 7 miles per hour over, but it looks like we're just going with the flow of traffic right now and uh, we'll just have to see and uh, almost uh, down to 3 hours. We should be arriving at the drop-off location just around sunset, so it uh, looks like we'll just make it since uh, we uh, will have to kind of do this one-day trip. But coming up here when we use the uh, sleeper semis, I do want to stop at a rest stop, sleep the night, and then I uh, kind of get back on the haul. Really want to do that. I think that will be a pretty cool, very realistic thing to do. Oh, it's so nice having automatic just cruising down the road and having the latest, greatest technology just making it a lot easier for us. And let's get going here on the lights. Well, uh, that's pretty cool that the gauge cluster lights up. If you guys are new here to the channel, I do ask that you please subscribe. We are growing, growing faster and faster, and I'm very excited for what's to come. And we're merging onto a new highway here. It was a bit tricky there. It came up pretty fast. And that is one thing I really want to do is just kind of zoom out here on the GPS. That way it makes it a little bit easier. And we do have a bit of uh, kind of a heads up on when we are turning up next. Now using the steering wheel here does make it pretty realistic, especially getting to use the pedals and also uh, just the steering movements back and forth. But once again, like I did touch upon, uh, the mirrors, I will say, you just really have to look pretty far. And I think that's part of the design that's not just uh, kind of the mirror angles. We are coming upon uh, two hours left here in the hall, so we're making really good headway, and we should probably be there around 8 or 9 p.m., which is pretty good timing, and uh, I believe that they did uh, let us know that they'll be open and waiting for the wheel loader. Now with the ATS, the landscape here in the game is amazing. Really do like the graphics. I do have a few graphic mods as well. Looks like we do have some houses over there. It's just an awesome, awesome uh, map. And it kind of looks like we are getting off here. So we'll have to be pretty careful. And let's see. We'll get merged over that car list. And exit only bar uh, stole. Perfect. We'll get dropped down here speed wise. I really just try to take the turns at the uh, lower speeds, but having that heads up for the GPS definitely uh, came in uh, to hand here and just was a little bit more helpful. And let's see, any cinematic shots doesn't look like we can since we're up top the bridge. But look at this view, guys. This is one pretty sweet view, very high up, uh, two, three hundred feet, and this is just so cool. Now on the few uh, hills that we have kind of gone through here on the interstates, I have not had any uh, power problems here with the Anthem, which is awesome. Now we are coming pretty fast here, and there is a few cars. There's a car right there merging, and then after this one car, we are good to go here. Perfect, we'll merge over, and it uh, looks like these vehicles here. It looks like the semi-truck actually slowed down there, but let's get back to the GPS and continue on the route. We're climbing up this hill no problem here. Looks like a few semis are uh, having a little bit of a tough time here. Looks like we are slowing down just a little bit. Come on, let's keep climbing. Uh, keep climbing. And I almost feel like I'm wanting to pass. I think that's probably the uh, game plan just because they're going a lot slower uh, than what we are doing. Oh, yeah, it looks to be fully loaded. And those kind of look to be, let's see, those seem to be uh, Peterbilt's. That looks to be a pretty cool convoy there, overloaded more than likely uh, for what the trucks can handle. We'll get over once we can. And we had a truck just kind of merge there, and we are good to go. So perfect, that was a pretty good uh, uphill climb and slowly descending. 
Now there does seem to be a, a, a truck lane here, which is pretty interesting as well. Haven't really seen that yet. Truck lane and uh, slow vehicles uh, should be over there. But so far we've been doing a pretty good job. And it kind of looks like we do have to uh, just keep going on the highway. It almost looks like we have to turn off, but that's just kind of how the highway is designed. And it looks like we are getting off here at this exit. And we are very close, just under 20 miles left to go. And there looks to be quite a lot of traffic here. Almost looks to be an accident up ahead. And hopefully we can get here. It looks like uh, they're starting to pretty much hold the uh, traffic. And we'll just have to see what happens. That was a pretty tricky area there. The police directed us to kind of go by on uh, the breakdown lane area there. Traffic is backed up. Look at how far that's backed up. Luckily, we did not have to go around to the next exit. That would have probably added an hour or two to the haul. And we are just around the corner here. And I think uh, once we kind of arrive, we'll call it a day. And I will uh, probably just kind of get this backed in off camera. Now I do plan to do a lot more ATS here with a lot of new mods as well, new trucks and just a lot of cool things and that's just something we'll continue to feature every single week. This uh, Mac Anthem was a great purchase. Now I do want to do a video with the uh, sleeper. I think that would be a pretty cool thing. Even though I use the uh, modded sleeper, I think it would be nice to use the in-game one. Now it would be nice to have kind of a stretched frame uh, Mac Anthem. That would be a pretty cool thing. But we are just about here. It looks to be a motel. Might have to stop there for the night. And it looks like we have arrived here. Where is the exact entrance? It's going to be a little tricky. It's kind of off the uh, main road here, but I think that's pretty much it here for us today. It was pretty awesome getting to the new Mac Anthem here, a whole front loader from San Diego to Barstow, California. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one and subscribe for more.